Hey, this is Brett with Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. Today, I'm excited to go over the 2020 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara, especially this one in bright white. Uh, it's got a lot of cool options on it. This one has a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 motor with electronic start-stop capabilities on it. It's gonna give you 22 highway, 19 city miles per gallon for an average of 20. And we're just gonna do a walk around here, and then we're gonna get up close and go over all the options on this particular Jeep. Um, I can tell you that this one has the premium audio and 8.4 group, the LED lighting group, the color match hard top group, the leather group, um, I think it's a cold weather group as well, the tow group. So those are just some of the options on this particular Jeep, but we're gonna get up close and go over, over everything on this one. And if you want to check out more pictures of this Jeep in the upper right hand part of the screen, there's a link right to our website, so click that and check us out there. It comes with the painted and polished aluminum 18 inch rims. You get the granite crystal pockets here. You also get the little Jeep logo on the rim there. Bridgestone Dueler all-terrain 255 70 R18 tires, and you can see it definitely does have an all-terrain tread pattern on there. This is a Sahara, you get the LED lighting group, which gives you the LED lights in the fenders. You also get the LED headlamps, the LED uh, ring lighting on the running lights there, as well as the LED fog lamps. And I got those turned on so you can see just how nice and bright all of those are. It's a really nice option on these Jeeps. I don't think I'd get it without it. Um, you got the silver finish on the grill inserts, as well as the headlight bezels and around the fog light bezels there. You got the tow hooks up front, color match fenders. You do get the dual Jeep still climbing up the side of your window and you, if you can see them here, they're kind of hard to see. There's little sandal impressions on that plastic piece there. You also get the Torx 50 uh, nomenclature there showing you which Torx wrench to use to take those doors off on the bottom. You get the factory running boards, standard on the Sahara package. We'll take a quick look at the window sticker, the original window sticker. I'm gonna go kind of quick, um, but feel free to pause it, pause the video so that you can see it. If you wanna check out this window sticker on our website in the upper right hand part of the screen, is a link right to our website, so click that and check us out there. Um, you can see it has the leather trim seats for $14.95, cold weather group $9.95 total, and heavy duty electrical group $7.95. LED lighting group, 1,045. 8.4 and premium audio group is a $1,695 option. Automatic eight-speed transmission is a $2,000 option. The 3.6 liter is a $1,250 option. The color match hardtop is a $2,195 option. For a total of $5,160 on the MSRP. And you can see those highway miles per gallon. And the front crash ratings are at four star and rollover is at three. The other two are not rated. So we're gonna take a look at that interior in just a little bit more depth in a little bit here, but first we're gonna do the final, the rest of the walk around up close, the color match hard top, both the back and the front pieces are color matched. You get the LED lighting group back here. So those tail lamps are LEDs as well as the license plate lights there. You have the backup camera right here matching spare tire and rim. These uh, rear doors are a lot lighter now. They open a lot smoother than the old JKs. Um, if you've ever had JK, you know they can kind of be clunky sometimes. This is your uh, case for your front hardtop pieces. You get the Alpine subwoofer back here. I like that they put them on the side now so that um, you still get all the storage space underneath and it's quite a bit of storage space underneath here. You also have your tool kit uh, for removing that hard top and everything else, as well as a hitch cover that comes with it. You can see they color match those bars back here. You also have three bolts on the bottom and one on the top, four on each side to get that back hard top piece off. Two quick disconnects for your windshield washer fluid and your electrical. And they store right here on that piece, which is nice. They used to be like flopping around on the JKs. You didn't know really where to put them, um, but now they solved that problem. The back doors, like I said, are a lot lighter now. And you can see they got the JL 
badge right back here and it tells you the four door, two door overall wheelbase and um, or wheelbase and overall length as well as water forty and all that cool stuff right there. But they still work exactly how the old ones did, how the back glass flips up and the door swings open. You get the metal fuel door on the Sahara here. And just down the rest of the side of the Jeep, really, really a good looking color. Bright white, heated mirrors, power mirrors. Inside that leather group gives you the heated black leather seats. You get the Sahara stitching on the backrest here. And I wanted to pull this up so I can show you that they do have airbags standard on the side airbags now. Um, these still are manual forward and back seats, um, but they also have your seat height adjuster and lumbar. Factory floor mats throughout, auto headlamps, power mirrors, power locks, tilt, and telescopic steering wheel, which is new for the JL. You get the seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer, outside temp, compass display as well. You get the heated leather wrap steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. This one has the 8.4 touchscreen radio. This is the 4C radio with the factory navigation. So why that's important is that uh, navigation system gives you Sirius XM Guardian service for one year. It also gives you Sirius traffic and serious travel um, link for five years when you get this radio. So even though that's a $1,695 option, it's really giving you a lot from Sirius XM as far as um, traffic alerts and weather alerts and stuff like that on the radio, which is really cool. In addition to having the factory navigation, which you get to keep forever. So you do get that factory navigation. You can also do your climate controls here. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You can do your heated seats, heated steering wheel buttons here. And then my favorite part about the new JLs is the backup camera and how crystal clear that backup camera is. I mean, that is just, you know, everybody used to rag on the Wranglers because they didn't have backup cameras. Well, now they got like the best backup cameras. They're super clear. You have the dynamic grid lines. That middle line lines right up with your receiver hitch. And uh, it's just a, a really great backup camera on these vehicles. Now, if you don't like using all the settings up here, you can, uh, can use all the ones down here. Also, this one has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities, so you can project your cell phone to the screen. Say you don't like using this navigation, you can use Google Maps or like Waze. A lot of people use Waze, which is a really cool map app. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Um, but down here, you have your dual climate control, your start-stop capabilities, stability control, downhill assist control. You can do all your climate stuff here, as well as your heated seats and heated steering wheel. You got your power windows, AUGS, USB, USB-C um, hookups, four auxiliary switches, part of that tow and electrical group. You got your four by four shifter on the floor there and the eight-speed automatic transmission. You get that little Jeep logo on there as well. Quickly, we're gonna show the key fob, nice and bulky. I like it, it's a flip out and it has remote start. Uh, the hard top pieces in front here come off very similar to the old JKs, except there's no um, screw-ins right there, but they come off pretty much exactly the same. You get SOS and assist buttons up there and your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems, also the auto dimming mirror. And we're gonna take a quick look at the back seats and then do one more quick walk around on the Jeep. So back seats, a lot more room on the JLs than the JKs. You also have this uh, latch child safety systems back here. Two USBs, two USB-Cs, 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. You get the factory floor mats back here as well. And these seats do fold down nice and flat, nice and easy. They don't hit the seats in front like the old JKs did. Um, and these headrests stay down when you're not using them or when it's in the upright position. You'll save your child safety locks. We'll take one more quick walk around. I'd personally like to thank you for checking out the video today.